body bags were horror lies. Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to Body Bags. I am your Friday host, and thank you for checking out my little review here for you. I'm doing a film from uh, 2016-17. Uh, it was done in 16, released in the theaters in 2017, and it just came out on Blu-ray this past Tuesday. And yeah, this film can be considered a horror movie, and it also could not be, so it's up to your interpretation. And that is called The Great Wall with Matt Damon. Matt Damon plays a uh, kind of like a thief slash barbarian slash whatever you want to call him. Uh, he's, him and his crew are trying to find this mysterious black powder to uh, help, uh, I think it was, just to steal it and to use it against their own, over in their own lands. So they have a whole like little caravan getting picked off one by one by a bunch of other Mongolian slash barbarians trying to find this mysterious black powder. Well, they get attacked by some kind of weird creature and it cut off its arm. Well, being chased by these other, I don't think they are Mongolians, but I don't know, whatever they were, uh, they come across this great wall and they come across this huge elite army. So they're pretty much taken prisoner. Uh, come to find out, they are starting to work with them because they've slayed one of these monsters, supposedly. So like, they're kind of, you know, prisoner-wise, there's an attack by these giant creatures. Now, they're not huge or anything. They're small. They're about the size of, like, a the small ones are about the size of maybe a tiger, panther, or maybe a lion, whatever. And, of course, there is a queen. And, of course, they can't kill this queen. Uh, come to find out, they do a little history on where these monsters came from. Pretty much a meteor came crashing to Earth, and these things were living in it. And, of course, these things are whatever these monsters. I think they call them the Tauzen. I think that's what they called them. Well, anyway, um, the queen is the main controller. She is the one that sends all the troops out to kill and eat, and then they come back and feed her so she can grow larger armies and pretty much take over the planet. So the Great Wall is their main defense. So Damon and his other colleague are now pretty much coerced to help and, and are trusted to help fight these uh, creatures. Uh, you also have an appearance by um, William Defoe. They don't get much what happened with him, but they kind of... I kind of felt a little weak with that character. So anyway, now Matt Damon has to join forces with this weird elite uh, team of soldiers. Kind of reminded me of the Power Rangers because one's blue group, one's a red group, one's a yellow group, one's a black group. <laughs> but they all had their specific uh, duties. The red were the archers, the black were the spearmen, pole arms, uh, death squad. So, like, the blue were these crane, they're all female. They all, like, parachuted down to kill beasts, whatever. But anyway, this was happened to be PG-13. I think if this was rated R, had a little more blood to it, I think this would have been a lot better. The storyline was okay. Again, this can be considered more of a fantasy slash advent adventure movie. But that for me, it has some horror aspects with the creatures coming out devouring people. And pretty much this group has to fight these weird monsters. Now, the monsters look pretty badass. Uh, their eyes were on the side, but the face looked like these weird skull-like things. Uh, they had an appendage on the top, which they used for communication to the queen. What well, I thought was was pretty cool. The queen looked badass. I wish she, they did a little more with her. But she just couldn't just stood there and let the spawns do all her dirty work. <laughs> Almost like a bee, where the drones will go out, do the things... Then they would come back, and the queen would do things with the with the drones. But on that, for special features, you have deleted and extended scenes. Uh, Matt Damon in China, they were working on that. Working with the director, Zheng Yimou. Uh The Great Wall visual effects. Uh, Man vs. Monster with the different fighting scenes, which is pretty neat. Uh, designing a spenticular world, making of, and weapons of war, which is also neat. Because some of the special effects were really well done in this. I guess it didn't do well in the box office, but I can see why. There's kind of a lot of plot holes. Some characters didn't seem to work well with each other or anything. 
but for me, it was it was watchable. I liked it. Um, I have a possible 10. I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10. So, guys, check out The Great Wall. If you want to put it in your horror collection, go ahead. If you don't, go right ahead, too. Um, I'm putting it in mine. So, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think about The Great Wall. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review, and check everyone else's out. Peace.